Aiden, don't just stand there. Come here. Move on, soldier. Know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... that's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure, and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part. But what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. Okay. I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> You all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack? Aiden, what do you want, son? These renegades, it seems they're everywhere. Not for long. Once we get the transmitter on top of the VNC tower, the Butcher will have to retreat. I'm not sure it's gonna be so simple, Jack. Simple? I heard you're doing a hell of a job clearing the city of rats. Do you think they might be looking for something in the center? I mean, they keep coming, but it's not like an organized attack. Of course it's not organized. Because it's being led by a madman. If Williams is really crazy, why didn't he just flood the city with the toxic water instead of sending in random excursions? Crazy is as crazy does, Aiden. Given how easily he could do it. Destroying the city isn't his goal. 
Not all at once, at least. By sending in bloodthirsty renegades, the Butcher's just creating chaos for its own sake. So the good people of the city become steeped in fear as he sits there in his high throne in white motherfucking gloves and listens to classical music. That sounds pretty fucked up to me. But we can counteract his terrorism with our campaign of enlightenment. That's why it's so vital to get the transmitter operating. So the people know the true enemy. Then we can defend ourselves properly. Nothing. I think I know everything I need. Good luck then. Until today, I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. This is my command. About time I ran across one of these. Could use that for ballast, if nothing else. Radar. Drop your end. You're here anytime. Everything I sell comes with an ironclad guarantee. be on or water on this purchase, but I want it. Thanks for selling me your spare. Gimme, gimme. X marks the spot. Just the treasure I was searching for. Been casting for one of those. I'm making out like a bandit. It ain't no dead man's chest, but I'll take it.
Hmm. Glad you offered me that. It was just sitting there anyway. get shopping before I sing a sea shanty. Remember, PK's top supply every time. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game here and now. Okay. Let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Time to act. survives. He's one of our most dedicated men. Hey, haven't seen you for a week. Why did he wait for the hell is that? The least expensive equipment. I didn't want to get it once. If you want to stay himself. here. Looking for Juan Rayner. 
You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Reyna is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Reyna's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Reyna is well known as a connoisseur of the finest things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. In the Juan? Hayden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. At the canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. said if it hurts that's good it means you're alive <laughs> no Stephen. a filthy herb brother will decide my husband's fate is that why you got a medical degree to go running to quacks for magic cures listen we don't have medicine herbs are our only chance my husband has fought for you for years you must get medicine for him not some herbs that might poison him Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong. But he needs medicine. And that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They worked like an antibiotic. But still, I, people here have strong opinions about healers. But you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb, or use the wrong dosage, and instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. Because if somebody messes up one of the steps of the recipe, it could kill him. Exactly. But it's enough to listen carefully to the healer's instructions and follow them. The herbalist I know, she's talented. She's Ator's only hope. And what's his wife's problem? Superstitions die hard. Margaret has helped many people everywhere. Some just don't want to admit it. Think I can help? You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in old Villador is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. You can trust Margaret.
here they dragged the commander in from the outskirts. He's barely breathing. Power back on will change the tide of the war. I hear the PK engineers are working on alarms and electric traps. Damn renegades! Beef. What did that to him? rather enjoy his caviar than take care of that lamptop.
gone now. We shouldn't submit to PKs without a fight. What happened at the bazaar sets the right example. Angel. If you hadn't helped with the renegades, I'd be out of work right now, or worse. <laughs> That's more Matt's doing. Hey, don't be modest. I'm the house. I'm Nicholas. So, how do things work in this place? The fisheye? They work better than anyone predicted when Frank set up shop. Two days and the peacekeepers will take it over, or the renegades will blow it up. And... Nobody blew anything up. It's the safest place around by far. Neutral turf. Even bad has come here just to hash out deals over booze. Anyone can relax without the threat of violence. Rivalries are checked at the door. That's a good place to have. So you know Frank well? Not old military buds well, but well enough to know back then he was a big shot. A special forces commando. A night runner, quite the high-ranking mucky muck. Until one mission, he led people into the television tower, ended in a massacre. After that, he ditched the uniform and started the fisheye, took out a new lease on life, but he became a haunted man. Frank relives that tower mission, start to bloody finish every day. The booze helps him get through it all. I've seen him on a bender. Drinking like that isn't helping him get through anything. Then imagine what he's like when he's not drinking. Tell me about Luan. Frank says women like her were given call signs based on cocktails. Bloody Mary, Margarita Rocks. Luan is hot shit with a hot temper. You do not want to get on her bad side. Cross her once, and that's it. Game over. I gotta go. Wait. You interested in making a bit of money? And how would I do that? It's a simple job. There's a metro station under the fisheye. Used to be UV lamps in the metro that kept the infected at bay. But they stopped working because every tunnel and station is infested. What happened? Might be the lamps, but I doubt it. We've replaced them recently. Mm, maybe something cut the cables. But what? It's not like the infected bit through them. It'd take a lot of biters to accomplish that. On the other hand, heard a couple stories like that. About infected who work together. Somehow coordinated. As if they're smarter than we think. Once, this guy at the bar told me he fell into a trap. He claimed a group of biters herded him into a dead end in a dark zone, intentionally. They didn't act like a typical mindless swarm. Said he only managed to survive by climbing onto a trash bin to reach a fire escape above the pack. But no. I wouldn't put much faith in that. If that were possible, I think we'd see it more often. Could be a blown fuse. Best bet would be to start at the electrical room.
So, you want me to turn on the lamps? Yeah, get to the electrical room. For all we know, could just be a blown fuse. If so, you could just reset the main power supply from there. Before you go, got a little something that'll help you out. A house specialty. Guaranteed to warm those biters' bellies. Just a bit of house hooch, a bottle and an old rag. But powerful stuff. Or you can always just sneak in past the biters if you don't want to make a ruckus. Once you turn on the UVs, they'll fry anyway. And you won't end up wasting good hooch. All right, I'll take care of it. I can't believe I live long enough to see the electricity turn back on. I've got an itch I can't scratch. I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me. An open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round. Welcome to the freak show, the best in town. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly I've been living in my own head constantly Thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy Wait, all these thoughts are too negative I don't wanna get lost in the sedative Got